So today I am actually going to be trying out the new Fenty Skin products. So I actually purchased the bundle, which it does come out cheaper when you purchase the bundle. And I'll put the price right here on the screen for you guys. But I will also put the link to the products down below so you guys can see what each of the products cost. Rihanna did come out with a skincare line and they're all vegan, gluten free and cruelty free. I just really wanted to try it out. I love skincare. I love trying out different skincare products and things like that. And I have reviewed some other skincare here on my channel. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link here for my playlist. It is the morning and I haven't washed my face or done my morning routine. She says that this is all you need for morning or night. For skincare, you have to at least try it out for a week or two. So I will probably be doing another video and two or three weeks just to let you guys know and give you guys an update on the Fenty Skin products and what they did to my skin. I have oily, acne prone skin, large pores. The first product is this, the Total Cleanser. So she says that this is a two-in-one. It removes your makeup and it also cleanses your face. I don't have any makeup on right now because it's the morning, but I will be testing it out when I do have makeup to see if it works to remove makeup as well. Then we have this one right here, which is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. So this is supposed to be a toner and a serum, two-in-one type of product as well. It says that it instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone and fights shine without stripping skin which is good because I have oily skin. And these are actually pretty good sized products. The cleanser, you get 4.9 fluid ounces. And then the serum, you get five fluid ounces. And then we have the moisturizer slash SPF. This is called the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. I would have to do a little bit more research on these sunscreens, but it is reef safe or coral reef safe it says here made with care for coral reefs does not contain oxybenzone or octinoxate those are the bad sunscreens and it's oil free you have to insert it and then twist it to close so i'm gonna go ahead and just do that i guess this is the tube and you're supposed to insert it oh okay i understand now why they did it like this because you can refill it. So you can purchase this separately to refill. Um, that way you do not have to keep changing out the packaging um, and throwing it out, which is a lot better for the environment, which is really, really good. Um, so you're supposed to insert it. And then twist. So I just inserted, I kind of twisted it a little bit and then on the bottom right here, you can twist it up or down. Up or down, up or down. <laughs> so down here you can twist this, okay. So the cleanser opens with just the twist off. So you just twist it open and you twist it closed. It did come with a sticker right here. So when I twisted it, it already broke the seal, which is pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face now, so. So I did rinse my face. Okay, so that is how the cleanser looks. Mm. It has like a fruity scent and it looks like a, kind of like a peachy apricot type of color. So I'm gonna wet my hands a little bit and then just rub them together to create a foam. So it does foam up and I think that you don't even need that much. I kind of applied a little too much. It smells really good. I don't know how I feel about it having fragrance though. I know she did say that the products do have fragrance, which I prefer my skincare to not have any fragrance. 
Uh, some people have sensitive skin. Fragrance can irritate their skin. I just don't think fragrance is really that necessary in skincare. Uh, but I know she did say that it has less than 1% of fragrance in each of the products, which I don't know. I feel like brands say that just to let people feel better about the products having fragrance even though i feel like skincare should not have any fragrance your face wash is okay to have fragrance because you're gonna wash it off uh, but the products that you apply after your face wash it is better for them not to have any fragrance but the cleanser does feel good it feels moisturizing it feels hydrating it kind of has like a little bit of a sticky feeling more like a moisturizer cleanser that's how it feels it doesn't really feel like a gel uh, it has more of a thicker formula so i'm gonna wash this off now it's gonna dry my face now my face feels really clean it feels really clean touching my face and it feels really good it doesn't feel dry so that's pretty good because after using face wash i normally like my skin normally feels really really dry so right after using the cleanser it doesn't feel dry but it did take away the the shine and oiliness that i had on my skin so yeah it feels really nice so now i'm gonna use the fat water so it has a seal right here and a seal up here so and then I think you're supposed to twist it. Yeah. So when you twist it, it breaks the other seal. I saw her using the products and the fat water. She did not use any cotton pads or anything like that. Um, she just applied it directly onto her hand. And it does feel a little thicker than a normal toner. Toners are more watery, more liquid consistency that you have to apply or that you put on a cotton pad and then onto your skin. I still apply toners on my hand and then onto my skin because I barely like to use any cotton pads. This one has more of a clear color. So she just rubbed her hands together like that and then she just applied it to her skin. It does have a scent. It's not as strong as the cleanser though. So it does have more of a softer scent. It does really feel like a serum. It doesn't necessarily feel like a toner. At the same time, it does feel like a toner also. So that's interesting. It does get sticky, but yeah. Okay, so my skin isn't sticky anymore. So it does dry all the way down. All right, so now to go in with the moisturizer. It does have like a very light pink color to the moisturizer. Another thing about skincare, I don't like it to have artificial coloring, artificial colors. And it has a fragrance. It smells really good though. It does, it does smell really good. Hmm. I can just keep smelling it. It smells really, really good. It smells tropical to me. Like, it just smells really good. So typically with sunscreens, moisturizers or sunscreens, it does leave like a white cast. When you first apply this, um, it does have a little bit of a white cast, but then um, it goes away. So, And it does feel very hydrating, like super, super hydrating. Would have preferred for it not to have any fragrance. Mm, my skin feels good now. Okay, I need to hurry up because they are coming to cut the grass and I can already hear them outside. But the moisturizer really put that moisture back into my skin and yeah, my skin feels really nice. It feels hydrated. Um, I will come back in two or three weeks just to let you guys know my final update and review on the new Fenty Skin products. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!